hello friends uh, welcome back to my channel after a long break actually i was occupied somewhere but from now onwards you will definitely receive videos every weekend so i have started a new series which will cover some interview questions and tips and i'm starting with the most frequently asked question storage classes in c and this series is specifically for embedded developers okay so we will focus on that area only okay so let's start what is a storage class first of all we have to understand what actually is a storage class storage class of a variable describes features like there are some features which are associated with a variable and the storage class is going to define them what are some of those features memory storage location of a variable scope of a variable visibility of a variable life etc okay so these are the features that are described by the storage class let's understand how many types of storage classes are there okay so in total there are four storage classes namely auto extern static and register let's understand them one by one first of all auto auto storage class they are by default what does that mean is in a variable if we do not you know specifically uh, specify any storage class then by default it will take auto i'll provide you an example we can declare auto storage class in two ways first auto int a equal to 0 and the storage class is basically appended here as a keyword and since they are by default so even if we skip this auto then also it will be considered an auto type the second method will be like this one we skip this auto keyword but still it will be an auto type the second one is extern it is declared outside the block in global region that is in the top of the file outside the main block using this keyword we can use variable from one file into another if we are making a project in which there are multiple files libraries etc and there is a variable in another file and we want to use it in another file then we can use this keyword the format to declare it is shown below extern int a equal to 0 this keyword will specify the storage class third one is static its main feature is it is initialized only once and it is very important from interview point of view watch carefully see this is an example of a normal c code in which we have not used a static keyword we are using normal integer this is a function which we are calling from our main function we are trying to print the value of z that is returned from this func one function so as you can see it is a very simple program what it will output is z equal to 2 z equal to z plus 1 that is 3 and return 3 so it will print 3 again it will be called and it will print 3 so output will be 3 and 3 but what if we use the static keyword here see the next example in this one we just changed this keyword here okay so in this what happens you can try it uh, on your compiler also to test it and to have a good idea so first of all it will be called for the first time and it will print 2 plus 1 3 right but next time since its main feature is it is initialized only once so when it will be called next time it will not be initialized again the z will not be equal to 2 it's already has been initialized so it will retain its previous value so z is already equal to 2 and it has been incremented already also so current value is 3 so in the second call the new value of z will be 3 plus 1 4 and it will output 4 so this was static keyword the last one is register which is the fourth type it is simply used for faster runtime access 
it tells the compiler to store this variable in register so that it can be accessed faster. So register variable is used for those variables which needs to be accessed multiple times frequently and we need speed for that. Okay, so these were the storage classes in C and this is a very hot topic that is being asked in interviews for embedded developer. Okay, so thank you guys. Subscribe because now I'm going to post videos every weekend and that will definitely help you. And this series will definitely help you if you are preparing for a job interview for an embedded position. All the very best.